Hey everyone, it's Mary Black here. I just wanted to welcome you to my weekly vlog. And I'm coming to you from a Sunday. I'm recording this because I have lots of goals this week um, and I've got a lot going on. So I'm going to try to get this done on Sunday and uh, get all my other work out of the way and then just work, work, work to reach uh, a big goal I have coming up. Um, today is kind of something I really, really want you to think about. I came across this um on facebook and it like was a real wow moment i posted this on facebook this morning um but it really struck a chord with me because this is where i was at uh, not too long ago and um you know a lot of us struggle with money and being able to make money or wanting to have money we think it's evil we think it's bad we think it's um you know we don't deserve it whatever it might be and it comes from our programming when we were younger, where, um, you know, my generation, we came from a lot of parents that had been born in the, um, during the depression and their parents had gone through the depression. So it's understandable that they had issues with money. They knew what it was like to be without. So, um, but I want to read this to you and just talk about it a little bit afterwards. And it's from Neil David Walsh. And it says, money is not the issue. Having the courage to give your highest gift is the issue. There is no security in doing something for a living when you are dying inside while doing it. That is taking care of the body at the expense of the soul. And a withering soul cannot help but produce a withering body. So do not think you are taking care of yourself by killing your spirit to keep your body alive. How long will you put off what you are dying to do? And that's something that I've kind of really talked about all along and talked to people about is because I was that person. I had the dying soul. I was in a job that was slowly killing my soul. And I was trading out what I thought was good job benefits for that and it just, it was making me miserable. And I'm going to post in here my before and after picture. Most of you have seen it um, from uh, the day that I had my braces put on in 2012 until now. And the difference has a lot to do with, yes, of course, taking care of myself. I wasn't taking care of myself while I was in that position. I was, and I talked about this last week, I was drinking too much. I was not sleeping and not eating well and the first thing I started to do was starting to eat better started my supplementation started cleansing some of that crap out of my body which is huge and that was the harbinger to get me on my way to a better person and a better health and when I look at that before picture I look and I see a very sad person somebody who was going through life going through the motions doing what she was taught to do which is, you know, have a job, you get gets paid well, be very happy um, because of that. And while I was grateful, and I would tell myself every single day, I'm very grateful for what this um, is offering to me. It, and I also knew that it could be leading me towards something better because it's all part of my story and my story of being able to survive, to be able to survive in something like that for nine years, to be able to um, move forward and keep pushing forward and but also knowing that you can do something different you can make changes and it's all about deciding what you want therein is the first thing and deciding that you want the change and you can do it you know you might have to sacrifice something so you might have to sacrifice getting a uh, a smaller car or something with smaller car payments maybe going on to one car if there's two of you and, and somebody's you know not working can you work it out if you can work it out go for it why why live that life of at the expense of yourself that's not doing you any good there's another quote out there and of course I'm not gonna be very good at this right now but it has um, it says something about how normal is going to a job every single day in a car that we cannot afford and we're going away from our house that we have to have this job for that we never get to spend any time in because we have to pay for the house and pay for the, the car 
that to get us to that job that also to for that house that we never spend any time with or never spend any time with our family we're paying for daycare um for you know and some some of you moms out there i know i mean you pay more in daycare than what you make and that's you know in the end you know the daycare gets more than um than you do in the end and daycare is fantastic and there are some fantastic daycare people out there and i understand you need to work i get that i do too um but you can make changes and make those steps forward and you don't have to settle you don't have to there's no reason why we can't have it all why we can't have both and yes sacrifices have to happen but um a great book i'm reading um i didn't get through it all the first time and that was my mistake and i'm starting to reread it again it's called you are a badass and it's written in great language great for everyone to understand even mark liked it who's not into the all hoo hooey thing um so get a book like that where you can relate to it you know you don't have to get into the whole spiritual thing if that's not your deal um but just know that there is power there's a higher power there's energy there's something um something out there for everyone and when you believe that you have the power to design your life and really make those decisions your life will change so with that um i just want to want you to really think about that i almost feel like i should read it again um and it's because it is so powerful and just you know money's not the issue it's it's a symptom it's a result if you will but having the courage to give your highest gift is the issue you have greatness within you as les brown always says you just have to let the world know it. So with that, I think I'll let you all go today. Um, my, again, remember, my greatest wish for you is that I believe every person deserves to design their life, to dream outrageously, and to live the life of their dreams. I am Mary Black, and I believe in you. Have a great week.